We are back in abduction to do some puzzle solving. At least that's the ID. We have this uh, teleportation device. That's a little different than the ones we saw, we've seen before. And we got a puzzle. A puzzle that looks like a maze upstairs. And I think the key is to use this thing and solve the puzzle from different directions. But yeah, this will transfer us to another world. So is there a maze back in Hunrath maybe? We're in Kaptar. Hunrath. It leads us to Hunrath. Aha, uh -huh. so we have four openings. Interesting. And it leads us to the lower levels of this area. All right. So no maze solving just yet. Hmm. Another back a reward item. That's a dead end. Two ways to go. Let's start by going right. Another backer item. All right, this one does open from this side. And will this lead where I think it will lead? Yeah, it leads back over here. The door we couldn't open before. So why do we want to go back here? To not really see it yet. So let's try to go the other side. Oh, it's a loading time. Whenever that ring comes, it could be could take a minute or two. Maybe we need to switch back and um, it will lead us back to the main platform. And uh, then we can see if anything changed back in Murray. Is that it? Well, I'm just going to uh, skip ahead while when this loading is complete. It might take a while, like I said, so. Good, so we're back. That loading time took me like two minutes. So where does this lead? The other passageway to another door we can unlock from this. Oh man, I know where we are. We're back here. Wow. Okay. Um, sure. So what do we have to do next? Think, think, think. I assume we have to... Hmm. Yeah. I might know what we need to do. And it pretty much sucks. Because we have access to the other side of this bridge. So what does that mean? Uh, oh my god. Do we actually have to... I might know what this means. Um, oh shit. <laughs> I can show you. We have to turn the bridge. Oh shit. Yeah. Shit, shit, shit. Like that. Well, why do I say shit all the time? <clears throat> because we cannot get to the other side from here. And now we have to travel all the way back to Murray. To the very point at where we can transfer again 
Okay, okay, you don't have to see all that. I'm going to do that for like 10 minutes and I'll see you back there when I transport myself to this point again. So, yeah, it sucks for me, but we'll get there. Well, I'm back a little bit sooner than I expected because I was walking, I was just barely walking and then I looked to the right and I noticed something changed here. Um, because those train cars are gone. So I'm not sure what we did. But I'm going to check that out for a second. Well, you look at that. These ones are still here. I'm not sure why, but now a path has opened over here. And I think this is a dead end. We saw that before. Uh, but I kind of wonder where those cards have, have gone to. And does this thing actually work? Is there like, is the battery on? Is that what happened? I don't see any clear difference. To be fair. just going to follow the trail for a second because if they're gone they should be somewhere over here you would think eh. no they they aren't actually hmm you know what since we're here we can also talk to Cecil again because it's been a while and I feel we're we didn't fix a battery yet, but we, in the meantime, we did so much stuff, transporting to other worlds and playing with pedestals, and I'm not sure, we're, I think we're losing focus a little bit. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, about that. I still don't know how. Okay, let's not worry ourselves with that right now. I will do what I said before and try to find my way back over there. So, yeah. And we're back where we need to be. And I'm not going to lie. Retracing my steps was a bitch. It took me about 10 minutes to figure out which way we had to go. And I was flipping some portals back and forth and pedestals and oh my to be honest I would have kind of I would have liked for sign worlds to um, you know to make there a switch or something over here to avoid this uh, situation so for your sake if you come back to this um, or you'll find yourself at this point I hope you switched it like this already because it, uh, yeah, like I said, it was like 10 or 15 minutes for me to get here. But now that we're here, let's forget all about it and let's finally walk across this path. And now we destroyed a bunch of rocks with a blue laser beam card. So we paved the way, thank god we did that or else we had to go back and do that stuff still. Uh, it's a palette. Who painted it? It's a mystery. This is the one we blew up. Anything else along this coast region? No. And the, the 10 or 15 minutes that I traveled made me wonder about the game. How long is it? Are we anywhere near the end? But then I thought we have a bunch of loose stuff we haven't solved yet in not only in Hunrath but also in Murray and um, Kaptar so I don't have a clue but I mean it can go on sure I uh, don't mind that okay it leads to another pedestal portal whatever and there is a note please read thoroughly we must have every detail in place. 
our lives and our species depend on this being executed perfectly. Okay. Locations and times in this document are based on the information leaked by Buko and Chavar. Our lives depend on the accuracy of the information we received from them. Remainders. CW, Earth. All right, yeah. Trar, Aprar and Orbar at Moray, the jungle planet. Arai, one Poliarch on Keptar. That's it? So there are definitely three planets, not four. Prep. Begin chambering. End of the day, Farley verifies manifest all souls chambered. Then remain, remainers in place with bands on swap trigger. Buko and Chavar arrive, chambered by Trar. Trar on guard of chamber. What the hell are chambers? Triggers, swap triggers and chambers. Are these the swap triggers, the pedestals I, I'm talking about? Trigger time, hour 5, minute 33. Could vary by plus or minus 4 minutes. Trigger location as prescribed. All locations should have small error allowance. Murray has largest margin of error potential. Be alert. Trigger task, trigger reswap immediately after swap. Any delay increases the risk of detonation in a home sphere at the risk and the risk of a remainder being disabled in Morang. Okay. Communication. Farley, I'll ensure, ensure that all remainers or in the case of Keptar, the remaining Poliarch receive and understand this document. Well, I'm not really understanding it yet. <laughs> I have a hard time understanding this game in general. My intelligence only goes so far, especially in the games that Cyan Worlds make. This one is a little bit different though, the orange color. And I'm just going to assume that the loading time will be uh, a little bit long. So I'll see you at the other side. Okay, we're about to respawn in... It looks like Keptar. There's so many unfinished business in Keptar, so... Or is it an all, a totally different place altogether? It does seem like a place we didn't visit before. But if I had to choose between the three, it's definitely Keptar. Eh. Two ways we can go. Or does it... I think it's just guiding us around. It seems like dried up lava. Ooh. The bright sun. Maybe this is the world of the... Um, so, Marais of the villain arrive from the Keptar and then we have the Mofangs. This might be the Mofang world. And there is a cherry tree. Huh. The world is definitely steaming. It's definitely dried up lava. Must be. Pretty place though. Even more serene than the others, maybe. Is this safe to walk on? Apparently. Because there are no any death threats in this game. Uh, let's try and go left first. This will lead us to the tree. And so yeah, about the trees. So in every world we somehow need to connect the trees. But I, I, I think I did not do that yet in Captar or Moray. So we might have missed something there we still need to do. We can go in. And uh, but before we do that, let's 
explore a little bit more around here by for example taking the other path see where it leads Hey, isn't that Hunrath? Hmm, so this might be the purple world we saw from Hunrath all along. The purple world of the Mofang. Well, it isn't really purple. It's more like reddish, it's black. It seems to be. Now, does this only serve as a uh, viewpoint? Like an overview or is there more to it trying to see if there are some pedestals this is not something we can activate well it's hunrath but it's definitely uh, somewhere we haven't been before because you can actually see it looks a bit like the grand canyon buildings electricity towers and somewhat more like cities over there and like a giant road Hmm. All right, so it appears we can only go down the tree. So let's go and do that. Which was this way. Alice in Wonderland. Now this tree situation is the same as in Hanrath. So the tree exists in... Oh. Well, this is different. I was expecting to find myself again at the center. Huh? We come out at the same spot? Uh. We come out at the same spot. How does that even work? Let's try that again. Okay, now we're getting there. That was weird. <laughs> okay, uh, what has changed? Ooh, this looks like a sun. Almost like some kind of supernova imploding star. And now the question remains where to go next and what to do with this. There's no voltage. Let's turn it. The water flows again. I guess we turned... This Is this what it means? We... Um, somehow uh, nourished the tree back on earth and now we nourish the tree in Mofang and now we still have to do that in Murray and Captar this is representing the green line now let's go see if we can go through any portals from here we we can, we actually can. Oh, we can even go back. Okay, so this might be the one back in Hunrath. Which means this one won't work yet because we didn't fix it yet. All right. Uh, let me go back one more time. See if we can go through the portals to the other worlds. I don't really think so because we didn't fix them yet. Alright, so 
this must mean we actually solved the puzzle so far. The puzzle that we did try and solve all along. But now it's time for something different. We need to solve other puzzles. Although I'm not sure how yet. Uh, okay, I guess it won't hurt to get back up again here. At this point. Yeah, there will be a yeah, there will be a loading time as you can see. Um so it's a good point where we can wrap it up. Um at this point I don't have a clue of what to do next. I kind of do know that we have to uh, solve the situation where we um juice up the trees in Marais and Keptar. Uh, there are a bunch of loose ends we didn't fix there yet. They might have something to do with the swapping the pedestals around. Um, and I need to learn more of that about it. And in Keptar there's a bunch of stuff we can do as well. I, n namely the, the weird console with the Russian letters on it. And um, yeah, there are a few other pedestals actually that we messed around with but we didn't really... And there's a, the case of the maze back in um, in the jungle world, Moray, that we need to solve. So yeah, I'm not sure where to start yet, but I'll know when we get to the next episode. So I hope to see you then.